Hi, I'm Alistair Tofts. Thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation today. I hope that everyone is enjoying the SEM virtual conference, and I hope that you are all staying safe and healthy during this pandemic. For the most up-to-date information, please visit our website, YouTube channel, or our other social media sites. Today, I am pleased to present our most recent DIC developments, with an emphasis on the latest iteration of VIC3D, version 9, with a powerful all-new visualization framework called IRIS. This new version is available now either directly from Correlated Solutions or from any of our authorized resellers. As always, if you'd like to check it out, please visit our website to download the latest update and request an evaluation license. We have some exciting new promotions that will be available until the end of the year that will fit everyone's needs and budget. But before I get into that, I have some exciting new developments to share with you. Correlated Solutions has gone solar. We're proud to announce that all the developments performed at CSI are now produced using 100% renewable energy. Our solar system is powered by over 130 panels with a peak output of 52 kilowatts, and the system produces approximately 8 megawatt hours of electricity per month, which is more than enough to power our facility. Next, I'd like to tell you about some of the new hardware we are offering with our systems. We have integrated support for several new cameras. For example, this little camera is compact, affordable, fast, and produces extremely high quality images. At 500 frames per second, it can be used in a wide variety of applications where speed is a requirement, but budget is a necessity. This is an ideal camera system for real-time measurements, especially when control feedback is required from a virtual strain gauge or extensometer. If you're looking for something with higher resolution, we have a new 12 megapixel system that is also quite fast. This camera is capable of up to 335 frames per second at full resolution for two seconds and is ideal for intermediate dynamic applications. Some examples include testing of biomechanical equipment, sports gear, and even moderate impact tests of vehicle or aircraft components. This camera system is just one of many new configurations that we offer. Now, let's talk about speckling. As many of you know, applying the perfect speckle pattern is a key ingredient to the overall accuracy of your DIC data. This can be a tricky task, but don't worry, we have you covered. We pioneered the speckle application kit in 2015, and we have recently redesigned the speckle rollers based on user feedback. As you can see, this roller is more heavy duty, has a comfortable grip, and gives you better control. This makes it easier to apply even pressure in a smooth motion with consistency. The new roller will reduce the chance of smearing, blotting, and missing areas in your speckle pattern. And as everyone knows, a better speckle pattern will give you better data. We are offering a couple of different kits depending on your needs, and we can accommodate a wide range of dot sizes for these rollers. The VIC3D system can be configured in many ways to fit a variety of applications. Whether you're performing quasi-static or high-speed testing, the VIC3D software is the power behind the image analysis and ultimately the DIC measurements. Over the years, VIC3D has been the go-to software for DIC analysis due to its user-friendly interface, processing speed, and analysis capabilities. Today, we are introducing the latest version of VIC3D with the all-new visualization framework called IRIS. IRIS is a whole new workspace within VIC3D that can be used to create custom presentations, full-length videos, high-resolution publication-ready plots, and has the ability to import CAD or finite element data for direct comparison. Now, you can use VIC3D's stunning graphic capabilities to display your data in Word, PowerPoint, LaTeX, and other presentation software. Since Iris was built from the ground up, we were able to focus on functionality while prioritizing the user experience. IRIS allows you to create custom presentations featuring high-resolution graphics, and it provides the ability to import VTK sequence data from CAD, FE, and other modeling software. Today, I'm going to review animating with keyframes, working with templates, displaying analog data values, importing CAD and FE data, and other new features in VIC3D. Let's get started with keyframes and templates. The user interface in IRIS was designed with a keyframe architecture, which is commonly used in video editing software. 
Keyframes define the starting and ending points of an animation to create smooth transitions. Object properties such as position, orientation, scale, opacity, depth, and time in a data sequence can be controlled by keyframes on the timeline. For example, here a keyframe is created at time zero in the object's position on the left side of the workspace. Then, another keyframe is placed three seconds later with the object's position on the right side of the workspace. When the video is exported, Iris will animate the movement from the first position to the second over the three seconds, as you can see here. Notice that the contour plot is also animated. This is because the data sequence was added to a second property layer on the timeline, so that the DIC data also transitions from the beginning to the end of the data sequence along with the location change. Multiple property layers can be added to the timeline to create complex animation sequences. Now, let's add an easing effect so that the object drops in from the top with a bounce effect at the end. There are many easing effects to choose from, or you can customize your own. You may have noticed the adaptive motion blur, which can be adjusted when exporting the video. Adding a motion blur gives the object a more realistic effect. Keyframes can also be used to zoom into objects using the scale property, enabling speckle images, data, or even text boxes to be enlarged during the video for emphasis. Assets can be imported and animated in just about any way, so you can add a company logo, photographs, illustrations, or other content to customize your presentation quickly and easily. We understand the importance of saving time, so we wanted to make sure that the IRIS projects that can not only be saved, but also be applied to other work. This is why we added the feature to create and save templates. IRIS templates can either be created from scratch, or you can simply use one of the many that are pre-installed. These templates will allow you to save complex visualizations that can be applied to any data set, so your work can be presented with consistent design. Contour plots, graphs, keyframes, animations, fonts, colors, and other properties are all saved within the template. Next, I'll demonstrate how Iris can animate data extractions graphically while, at the same time, display the numerical values. After the data extractions are performed in Vic3D, any variable can be displayed graphically and animated in Iris using time-based keyframes as we showed you earlier. Here you can see the animation of the same data, but now we have included the strain and load in the graph on the right and in the text box below. As you can see, Iris provides new ways to visualize DIC data like never before. But wait, there's more. Many of you are likely using DIC data to validate finite element models, as it gives you much more information compared to strain gauges. The new version of VIC3D includes the ability to compare FE with DIC data and dramatically simplifies the process of subtracting the theoretical data from the test data. This allows you to see the differences in great detail. And of course, all the same powerful visualization and animation tools are available to use on both datasets. So how do we do this? First, the DIC and the finite element data coordinate systems must be aligned. This is typically performed using markers placed on the specimen surface, which are captured during the test. Once the data is transformed into a common coordinate system, the finite element data is then exported into a supported format. The FE data is then subtracted from the DIC data. Both the FE and the subtracted data can be visualized in the IRIS workspace for further analysis. We have also integrated this process into our Python scripting environment so it can be automated and customized to your specific needs. This makes it much more efficient to process huge amounts of data from large models. This entire procedure is explained in greater detail by Dr. Michael Sutton in the video available on our YouTube channel. This is just a taste of what we've been working on over the past year. Sign up for our newsletter follow our social media, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with our future developments. Thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation. I look forward to seeing you all in person at next year's SEM conference.